If you're working with time series data like financial tickets, LLT, or telemetry, you've probably heard of QuestDB. It's an open source, lightning fast, and built for real time performance. But is it the right fit for your stack in 2025? Let's find out. Now, QuestDB is a high performance time series database written in Java and C. It's optimized for handling millions of rows per second with SQL style queries and support for Postgres uh, wire protocol, meaning it plays nicely with existing tools and since it's column oriented, it's tuned for speed when filtering or aggregating large data sets. It's especially strong in use cases where you write speed and real time analytics matter to you. Think trading platforms, monitoring systems, or sensor data from thousands of devices. Benchmarks show it outperforms InfluxDB and TimescaleDB in raw ingestion speed. Plus, it has low latency querying, even with billions of records. The web UI is lightweight, it's useful, um, uh, you can run SQL queries, monitor performance, and visualize data. It supports ingestion via REST, influx line protocol, and even Kafka. Setup is quick, it runs smoothly on Docker or bare metal. On GitHub and developer forums, QuestDB gets praise for its speed, uh, clean architecture, and minimal resource usage. Some users do mention limited advanced analytics compared to Timescale DB, but for pure ingestion and querying speed, it's one of the fastest out there. So if you need a fast, scalable, open source time series database, QuestDB is a serious contender. It's built for performance, simple to deploy, and ideal for real-time systems where every millisecond counts.